Hello YouTube and welcome to my review of set 7679, the Star Wars Republic fighter tank. This was released in 2008. Um, comes with 585 pieces and weighs in at 900 grams. This is a set that I've been trying to get hold of for a little while now. And I was waiting for two things really. One, a really good set to come up in pristine condition. Um, and for the price to be right, um, obviously being an older set, I've recently got this within the last month or so, um, and I must say I was really, 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 really pleased. Um, it is an A1 condition, absolutely pristine, full brick count. The stickers were not applied uh, when I got the, the set. Um, I applied those myself when I put it together. Uh, this has got some great features on it, which I'm gonna take you through shortly. Uh, comes with two minifigures, and two clone troopers, um, which I will show you now. Got a standard clone trooper. Um, you can see there he's holding a blaster. Nice printed face. Back printing. Standard torso and his helmet. Second minifigure is actually identical as in he's a clone trooper however he comes with as you can see these accessories which makes him the clone troop commander you see he's got his visor there he comes with two pistols but the other features like I said as you can see are absolutely identical with regards to the printing the head um, etc. So two clone troopers but by default this one is a commander like I said with the accessories actually comes with uh, additional accessories so we've got two blasters also get some other accessories so there's a couple of antennas in there and some other helmet accessories um, like I said, the stickers were not applied when I got it, but that's the sticker sheet. Um, the actual instruction manual. Quite a size. Again, very, very clear instructions as you'd expect. Um, okay, so on to the actual set itself. Great set, like I said, and I was really pleased this is an A1 condition. Some fantastic play um, features on this particular set, so I'm going to take you around um, those numerous features um, now. First, I'm going to start here actually. So, on either side, we've got a little storage compartment here. This is actually where I put the um, blasters. I'll explain why in a minute. So, I put one that side and one in that side. There's plenty of room to store other bits and pieces in there. You could store your spare helmet accessories in there but I keep them um, in a bag separate from the actual set itself. Here this lifts up we actually have some engine detail inside you can see there you have the cannons on each side which both lift up and down here is a turret cannon again, and the spins as you can see. Then here on both sides, you can see the actual design there along the side. Just while I'm there, actually, I point out a sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there and a sticker there, and then the same um, identical stickers on the other side um, of the tank itself. Now here, and you can see this here, this actually a great little function here. These spin round on both sides. And spin that one round. And in here we actually have on either side three flick fire missiles. And these do straight wheel flick out as you can see there. Your standard flick fire missile. Again, you can see either side, and you can see there how that spins round. 
another really great function. Now, probably my personal favourite function on this is here, which is actually where our clone um, sits. So if you pull back on this, which is an access hatch, if you see that there, actually, well, when the clone is in it, will actually pop up, but that comes up. You can see an access hatch in there. You can just see in there some of the mechanism. You've actually got some Lego Technics um, Lego in there uh, for the moving parts, which I'm going to show you now. So inside, you should be able to see there's a seat in there. So our clone actually sits inside here, like so. Bear with me. He obviously is controlling the turret, and this comes up as well, by the way. All right, and the great function about this is he actually goes down like so, and then the actual turret cover can go down like that. And then if we pull back on the opening here, he actually pops up, um, which you can see there. So he's actually held down. Um, by the actual rear door um, itself, which is up there. So we push down, we push that in, and that just holds him via the red lever there. Again, so if we pull that back, you see him pop up from that way. And again, the turret there, and I think that's all the features on it. I'm just going to show you the underside, the actual wheels. The four wheels here, which manoeuvre the tank, and they manoeuvre it very, very well actually. And I'll just show you. It's round, back with the forwards, and really does spin it round. So an absolute great playability um, on this particular set for obviously younger kids. And myself being an AFOL, um, this is purely for display purposes for myself. Um, which breaks the heart of my little boy, <laughs> as he desperately wants to play um, with a set. Um, but like I said, it's uh, for display purposes, um, which goes along with my collection, which I will be showing you in a forthcoming video. So, I think that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you want any additional comments with regards to the set or answers, Please submit them in the comments um, and I would really, really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you'll see this is a new channel. This is my second video posted, um, but I have many, many Lego sets and I do intend to do reviews on a fairly regular basis. I'm hoping to do them at least weekly um, at the moment, maybe more, um, obviously dependent on holiday strike vacations. Um, but yeah, if you would, thumbs up, subscribe. Um, and let your friends and family know about this channel, that would be great. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.